We're on, and Dwayne called me on the uh, this is one I made. phone, Yeah. and he's got a bunch of new artwork, so I told him I would come over and videotape some of his stuff he's got going on here. Tell me about that painting. Okay, well, it's actually done with graphite and uh, pen and ink uh -huh. and some Sharpie marker. Okay. And uh, colored colored pencil. Right. Colored, colored pencil. And uh, it's called a Silamar. Uh huh. I don't know what that name means. Right. Silamar. Um, based on Kent Williams, uh, Santa Fe, New Mexico uh, artist. Okay, this one is just a, a okay. Banksy post, a po Banksy poster. Okay. That I glued to a piece of mat board. Uh huh. So I don't know. Um, what that says, if that says anything, uh, maybe it's an anti-art, maybe it's art, a statement, narrative, uh, bait on the art world, perhaps. Maybe it's, uh, you know. It's like a found object, like a dot found, found object. Uh, yeah, and it's, yeah. It took a Banksy poster, trimmed it, trimmed it down, and mounted it on a piece of mat board. Okay. So it's, and the title of the piece is called Banksy Poster. That's it, Banksy. Banksy post. That's it. There and you so have it. You're making art out of with using somebody else's art. So it's they, they call that um, appropriation or whatever it's called. Whatever right. it's called. But you're using someone. You're t taking something that already exists and you're using it and you're creating, making art out of whatever it is. With okay. What else do you got? Art from art. Art that already. And then this one is called uh, Robots and Spaceships. Uh huh. It's just pen and ink, uh, right. no color. Right. Just black and white. Uh, based on an Andy Warhol thing that I saw, Robots and Spaceships. Right. I could add some color, I guess. I could add some color. But I, I don't know, I kind of like it, like just the way it is. Like okay. Plain, black and white. What else you got? Uh, this one's just a red uh, abstract. Right. You know, obviously, red splatter, red, you know, abstract piece. Um, kind of a monochromatic abstract expressionism. It's just kind of, some red kind acrylic of a, paint. Implied it's, violence. It's abstract uh, kind of gestural an, expressionism, right. yes. But it looks um, like dried blood, too. Yeah, it looks like. Like kind this of one suppressed is okay. There's another more another suppressed violence. Red, dry, you know, acrylic right. paint with uh, collage. That that one has, right. you know, more color. Right. A lot more color in it with the red, you know, stuff. Okay. okay. What else you got and going then on? This one. Oh, this was from Halloween. This is left right. over from from Halloween, October. Uh huh. You know, so it was just a, a bat. It was like an abstract painting. It was based on a, like a Jack Torkov. Uh -huh. And then I put the a bat, black. I don't know why, just came out. That's just I don't know. Okay. Ghost. Very bat good. Thing. You got anything else? Um, I think that's. Uh... So where do you usually sell these paintings? Oh, usually I. Is it on? Yeah, it's yeah. We're rolling. It's on. Okay. Um, usually I sell them. Um, I go to like art shows, uh -huh. art openings reception you know and then I show them to other artists and I uh -huh. show them uh, just the other day I showed one to a, a gallery a girl that was working in a gallery on Robertson in West Hollywood right. and she she's not the owner of the gallery but she was uh, maybe she's the, like the manager of right. the gallery she works there and I showed her a piece that I had that was based on a John Baldessari right person with guitar sort of a red and black thing and she liked it and she gave me like 20 20 dollars right 20 bucks so you know but i can't seem That's to get tough. a gallery to uh to represent me right to sell my artwork for me right because i don't have a studio i don't have a cell phone i don't have a car don't, don't have, have an have agent all these things. right yeah. and if you don't have all these things you know it's very hard to get representation right you don't have you know cell phone car you know studio all these things right so uh, but now I ran into you about four months ago and you have a whole new set of paintings since then so you do manage I'm to get making new, yeah, yeah I'm constantly working and making new stuff good, good. but um 
But it's frustrating because it's not quite moving as fast as you'd like for as much as you'd like. Yeah, I just, With, I don't yeah. see why. Well, it, yeah, it's hard to um, just, you know, to sell them, to get a decent price for them instead of selling them on the sidewalk, on the, right, you know, for right. 20 or 30 bucks. Right. They should be going for, you know, whatever a the gallery dollars. price, what they're right. worth. Right, exactly. Like 500 or 5,000 or whatever, right. a gallery price. Right. Because my art is just as good as anybody else's. Right. And Especially how long have you been making art now? Seven years. Seven years? Seven years. I've been doing this for seven years. Wow. Yeah. Good. I sold to Kenny Scharf, Shepard Ferry, uh -huh. bought four pieces. Kenny Scharf bought four pieces. Uh -huh. Larry Gagosian bought one from me for $40. Larry right. Gagosian, he owns, he's the biggest art dealer in the world. Right. In the United States. Larry, I ran into him in front of his gallery in Beverly Hills. Nice. I said, hey, you're Larry Gagosian. He said, yes, I am. And so I saw, I showed him a piece that I had, uh -huh. and, he, and he said, okay, I'll give you 40 bucks. He gave me 40 bucks, which is nothing nice. for him. Nothing for him, nothing right. Nothing for him, because he got more money than God. Right. Ah. What else are you working on now? What else am I working on? Yeah, what else is going on? Like, what's your plan for this coming week? Do you have anything have coming up pieces. this week? I have seven pieces of artwork. That's uh -huh. that's all I got. It's just this. Okay, well, see. show them to us again. Start with start with the uh, the very first one, and let's just look at them one more time. First one. Right. Sleeping Harlot. Sleeping Harlot. 11, 12, 13. 12, 13. By Dwayne Wiley. Dwayne Wiley. All right. Let's take a look at it really quick. After Masayuki Nagare, uh -huh. he's a Japanese artist, uh -huh. and uh, it's based on a piece that, uh, that he did. And the sash that comes down, and there's a golden rope. The rope is gold, golden, gold color. Okay, nice. Let's That's see the nice, next one. Okay. Silamar. Uh, I showed it to Honor Frazier at Honor Frazier Gallery. Uh -huh. She said, oh, I know Kent. I know Kent Williams. And I tried to give her these pieces. I tried to give them to her. She, you know, and I tried to ask her, you know, why can't I get a gallery to represent me to, to sell my artwork? My artwork's just as good as anybody else's. And, you know, it's just, I've just been running up against it. Yeah, well, you got to keep trying, I guess. What What's the next one you got? It's just a, a Banksy poster that I saw. Because he's got a thing going on in Beverly Hills, Julian's Auctions. Right. They're auctioning his... Uh, his art. Okay. And what's the next one you got? Okay. Uh, robots and spaceships. Okay. I got is, it. Uh, and you got the two abstract ones. Let's yeah, take yeah, a look at those. The, yeah. The, uh, yeah, the, uh, yeah, the abstract, uh, red, abstract, gestural, right. expressionism. Red, that uh, seems to express your frustration a little bit. Well, if you want yeah. to put it, take it that way, you, someone could certainly view it Right. That, I've done some like that. Okay, know, and the other one with the red and the and this one with the uh, photo images from art right. magazine, art limited, art scene, and fabric. Oh, they're mostly art magazines. There are LA art magazines. Oh, right, right. Uh, LA art uh, images. What paint color is that that you used? Is that mixed or a, a out of the tube color? Acrylic. 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 Red. Red, like a red acrylic. Oh, okay. It's the same thing as same thing as this one, except this one has collage and this one has it's just the white just background. The white background. I gotcha. Okay, very good. Well, thank you, Dwayne. Good luck, and until we meet again, keep making artwork. Very good. Thank you Hang very in much, there. Uh, Bill. And uh, Hang I'm gonna in there. keep. I'm gonna try.